Hey there. I want to talk to you about something because it just struck me that it could be real helpful for a lot of people to hear this. This is a message that I oftentimes have given to patients. Because a lot of times when someone comes in to see me, and you may know this from personal experience, I certainly do. When you're feeling down and you're not where you want to be emotionally and oftentimes it's gotten even worse than that you're really not where you want to be you're depressed anxious all the time when you get to that place the difference between the way you see the world then and the way you see the world when you're in your better place a place that you more want to be that you would rather be in my view is a shift back to realizing how miraculous life is. And not everyone would term it that way, but my belief is that it's that sentiment that underlies our feeling amazing about lives, the recognition that we are each on an adventure through a miracle. And when you when you wrap your mind around your experience of life and life itself in that way, then it shifts everything about how you see the world that's outside you that you come across. And as a result, your inner experience, your emotional experience brightens because there's a, there's a curiosity about the path that you're on. What comes next in this miraculous adventure? And when you lose that, when you lose your, your recognition, your awareness, your memory is what I think it is for a lot of people a lot of times. When you lose your memory of that reality of your life, then yes, it can get difficult to see the world in a way that really engages you. And when you see the world through that set of eyes, through that lens, then in the same way, but in reverse... It really dulls your experience of being alive and at the same time it raises enormous amounts of fear about the uncertainty about your life. And that's, you know, meaning in your life, purpose in your life begins to be questioned. So that's it. That's what I see a lot of times as the main difference in, you know, you could say mindsets. I just think it's it's remembering what you know to be true and what oftentimes happens is that as stress rises in your life it becomes more and more difficult to see clearly into the world because stress in your body changes the way that you see the world so a lot of times you need to learn strategies for reducing that level of stress back to a place where you start to see the world through the eyes that you used to see it with see it for the miracle that it is even if you never use those words yourself in your life I'm saying to you that the looking at the world through a lens that has that idea somewhere implicit within you is seeing a completely different world than the world you see when you've lost complete touch with that and oftentimes that's because your stress has gotten too high and you can be depressed and stressed, and you can be anxious and stressed, and you can be angry and stressed. Stress manifests in all sorts of ways. So, if that's going on with you, I invite you to join me and us at Be Your Purpose, where you can walk through the steps. I think that this is the best way to begin either getting coaching or getting therapy or going to master your inner world, the world that exists inside your brain and body so that you can excel as strategically as possible towards your goals and in your life. Uh, you will learn from the beginning of Be Your Purpose, from step one, the things that you need to know to be able to reduce the stress level really strategically so that you can see the world consistently from a place that feels most connected yourself most purposeful to you okay this has gone on a lot longer than I anticipated um, so uh, hopefully I'll see you inside beerpurpose.com someday
Have a great day.